Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina. This channel is all about beauty and that includes skincare, fragrances and makeup mostly. Today we're having another one of the makeup videos and I'll be testing and reviewing this new Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow Foundation. I'm so happy because Makeup Forever was not really... I mean, it was available in UK, but it was a bit more difficult to get. Currently we can buy their products through multiple online retailers that actually makes me really happy. So this is their newest foundation, HD Skin Hydra Glow. I picked up the shade 2Y20. This is what it looks like. This is medium, but a little bit on the lighter side with some yellow undertones. That should be a perfect winter shade for me. So far, my favorite uh, foundation by Makeup Forever is the Reboot one. That one is brilliant. But I have really high hopes towards this one. This is a lightweight, hydrating foundation that should be perfect for dry, mature or sensitive skin. It's also said to deliver this natural medium coverage that's supposed to be buildable. So let's try it out. So it seems like whenever I'm testing a new foundation, my cheeks seem to be particularly flared, but that's not really a bad thing. Um, it's always good to see how much coverage a product is going to offer. So let's apply the foundation on one side of my face first. I'm going to use a brush that's going to offer a bit more coverage. And this is what it looks like. So I would say this is definitely not a full coverage foundation. It leaves some imperfections visible, but it's not a bad thing. Like the coverage is pretty natural actually. And this redness on my cheeks is like not completely covered, but muted. And I think it actually looks pretty well. Same story with like any discoloration under my eyes. You can definitely see it's kind of like muted. It looks quite all right in general, but I think if you have like darker under eye circles, you will probably need a color corrector or a concealer with it. Okay, so let me just apply this foundation to the remaining part of my face. And this is what it looks like. I would say this is like a medium coverage, very natural look. And it is pretty glowy, I'm not going to lie. That's definitely something I'm going to mattify. And look at this forehead, like it's all so shiny. It's definitely a little bit too shiny for my preference, but listen, that's not really a real problem. I'm going to mattify it and let's see how good it will last now. Okay, so it's been like two hours since I applied my foundation. I haven't applied any color correctors or concealers, so you can still see like some mm, imperfections on my skin. The only thing I did is I mattified my T-zone and I used some of the setting powder under my eyes. And this is pretty much what it looks like. As you can see, my cheeks are still very glowy. So I would say this is definitely a great foundation for dry skin. If your skin like is all over dry, then I guess you will probably enjoy this extra glow. If your skin is anything but dry, I guess you will need a little bit of setting powder to kind of mattify like certain places like just like I did. I think the foundation actually lasts pretty well. It looks very natural. It's very comfortable to wear. It's not drying. I mean, it's supposed to be hydrating. So I guess that kind of makes sense. I think it's a great foundation if you just want to use it on a daily basis and you don't really care about your makeup to be impeccable. But for special occasions, if you have like any imperfections, you will definitely need to use um, a color corrector or concealer to kind of like make your skin look seamless. So if I were to compare this foundation to the Armani Designer Glow I tested recently, I would say this one has a little bit more coverage, but the other one, the Armani one, is a bit better at color correcting. They're both very glowy. They both offer a very natural finish. And I think they both look pretty good. This one is obviously a little bit more inclusive. It offers like wider spectrum of shades. But I would probably say these foundations are comparable. Anyway, guys, this is everything from me today. Have you tried this foundation already? If so, let me know what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching. For more makeup-related content, check those videos over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.